Vincenzo in Caserta, Italy writes, Hi Paul, I love your power amps with their brawny toroidal transformers and beer can size capacitors. <laughs> but is all this destined to disappear with the arrogant advance of lean and anemic SPMS power supplies, switch mode power supplies? <laughs> Arrogant? Okay, well, I, I think um, he's using a bit of a translation program there, and that's just how it came out. I, I love it. Uh, I, I have never met a, uh, an arrogant switch mode power supply. <laughs> so let me explain the difference between the two. And yeah, our BHK amps, those big beasts, have these giant toroidal transformers, massive diode bridges, heat sinks, capacitors up the wazoo, giant beefy uh, bus bars that conduct the current. Yeah, and we, because we understand and have understood for the last 40 something years that the sound is of, of an amplifier is directly relatable to the quality of its power supply. Why? Well, most people think of a power supply as just feeding an amplifier, right? The amplifier is the main thing. You put a little signal in, you get a big signal out, and it's modulating up and down the power supply as long as it's adequate to feed it. That is a viewpoint of a power supply. I take a very different viewpoint of a power supply. And I think that viewpoint has guided PS Audio, me, and a number of engineers for years, and it developed a long time ago, um, I say 30, 40 years ago. And that is that a power amplifier is actually a valve that modulates the power supply, okay? So think of it as, let's just, we, we have a dual supply, but let's just think there's one, one big tank of water up here that's, that's our, our, our power supply, and it's all this water, okay? And we're gonna try and, make the water go th through a valve and out into our speaker. And our, we have a water speaker. <laughs> just, just bear with me. Um, and so this big tank of water uh, has to be always there, always available, make sure the water is always there and ready to go. Now we're gonna turn the valve on and off. So, but, and that valve is our output stage. So the quality of that power, if it, if, it, if it has noise, if it starts bouncing up and down, if it does anything, uh, it's going to be reflected out of the valve. So this power amplifier is indeed just a simple valve that is regulating the amount of power from the power supply. And the lower the impedance the power supply, the cleaner the power, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, the better it's, the better it's going to sound. And you can argue that all day long, but that is the, the philosophy that, that uh, myself, Darren Myers, Bob Stadther, and many engineers throughout the, the audiophile world will tell you is important. Okay, and our power supply is a big transformer that magnetically couples the 110, 220 volts coming out of the wall. It magnetically couples it into the amplifier so that there's no physical connection. Transformer is just two big coils of wire and a bunch of steel. And um, there's no real physical uh, you know, connection because they want to keep it safe, right? So we're magnetically coupled. And that goes into a diode bridge which separates our AC into plus and minus DC. Then we have a bunch of capacitors that smooths that ripples uh, out to a steady DC voltage and voila, you have a power supply. A switch mode power supply does the same thing, but in a very different manner. It's kind of, well, I'm not gonna go into the whole switching thing, but it has what's called a chopper at the beginning, and it takes little chunks very quickly, like at 100,000 times a second, it'll take a bit of a chunk out of that sine wave, run it through, because it's moving so fast, you can put it through a small transformer because of the frequency. See, ours works at the 60 times or 50 times a second. So the lower the frequency 
in order to get the same amount of power through, the transformer grows exponentially. I mean, so our transformers are huge. That's because of the frequency. If what came out of the wall naturally was a thousand cycles, zoop, and you'd get the same result. It would be a much smaller transformer. So a switch mode power supply artificially uh, makes that frequency. It takes the 60 and chop, 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 chop. And what comes through, then it can go through a tiny little transformer and outputs to a set of caps. And then, the yeah, anyway, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that goes on. They're very difficult to design. The guys that do that, it's almost black magic. I very much like them. They're regulated. They do all kinds of cool stuff. I would say that someday you will see the elimination of all those massive power transformers in PS Audio Equipment once we can find switch mode power supplies that meet our standards, and they are out there. Our friends at Hypex make some gorgeous ones that frankly outperform the big transformers. And I think over time you're going to see us moving to that, as you will a number of people. They're more efficient. They can have, they can be regulated. They have lower impedance. They're clean as a whistle. And um, yeah, so I think that's what you're going to see. Okay, I, I'm, enough of the rant. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>